Hello and welcome to this video clip which is going to talk you through our new student home study site. This is part of a student intranet which students will have access to when they are logged into Microsoft Office. So with students being able to access this through Microsoft Teams, they will get access to information relevant to their home learning tasks as well as home study tasks that will take place in the run-up to progress tests. For all students, you will find a copy of the student intranet site in your year team. So for year 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, when you click into your year team page, you will see that there is a home study student site tab at the top. And when you click into that tab, it will take you then to the student intranet. On the student intranet, you can find lots of information about both home learning and home study. Remember, home study is focused on preparation for progress tests. Home learning are activities that will be taking place outside of the classroom throughout the school year. At the top of the page, we've got our home study habits walkthrough, which teaches us about habits for powerful learning at home, such as having a plan, organizing our resources, maximizing our study habits and evaluating progress. A copy of that walkthrough has been created as a video clip, which you can also find at the top of that page as well, just to remind you of what's expected when preparing or completing home study at home. Further down the page, you will find lots of different pieces of information relating to some of our home study platforms. Our home study platforms are there to help extend your learning or to help you to recap and revisit important information that's relevant to your curriculum. So here, for example, you can click into any of these tabs across the top, or you can click down and find the specific icon or logo and click into these. So for example, I'll click into Educate, and then I can log in to my Educate platform and I can then start to complete a home learning activity, or I could use that for home study. So for example, here with GCSE pod, our GCSE students might use this for revision. They might use this to help extend their learning. Remember with these websites, you are probably going to have a login that is your Prospera email address. Use that Prospera email address and your account password to log in. And if you need that to be reset, speak to your teachers who can help support you with that information. Further down the page, you will find home learning plans. Home learning plans are designed to give you an overview of the home learning activities that are taking place in each half term. So once I click into home learning plans, I can click into my year group and I will see a week by week breakdown of the home learning tasks being set by my teachers. So for example, here in year nine, autumn two, I can see that there are a range of activities planned each week for my different subjects. Some of these will be home learning tasks, but as we move closer to your progress tests, some of these may be retrieval activities to help you recap on previous learning. So if I look at a couple of examples here in history, in week, um, seven there is a retrieval practice based on your knowledge organizer and we'll talk about knowledge organizers a little bit later there is a recall quiz for example here in technology specifically for food technology a recall quiz is going to help you to recap and redraw on information that you've previously learned remember that most of your home learning will be set as an assignment however you can use the home learning plans just to check where you're up to further down on the home study site you will find information about progress tests now whilst you'll get a physical copy of some of this information such as your progress test information and your study planners there is an electronic copy here as a backup should you wish to use it by clicking into progress test information, I will find the information relevant to all of the progress tests that are taking place. So by clicking into year seven here, as an example, you will see a breakdown of what it is you need to know and key terms for each progress test. So here for maths in year seven, 
a list of specific topics have been provided as well as the Sparks links to help you find information alongside some key terms that you can then start to make sure that you're memorizing before that progress test takes place. Alongside that, you'll have your study planner. Now these study planners will be given to you in your form time. When you click into your study planner, you will then notice that you've got a range of different exams that are scheduled for you already. That includes English, maths and science because they're your core subjects. To the right of the table, you will see a breakdown of the different subjects that are taking place that week. So in week one for year seven, there is English, science, French, Spanish, history, art, drama, and PE. In the second week, there are a different number of exams taking place. And that's about making sure that you've got a balanced timetable over progress tests fortnight. Further down, you will see that you've got all of your different study blocks, and that's the four weeks that lead up to your exams. Later on in that document, you will see some information about revision strategies. And these are the revision strategies that we want you to focus on in each year group. Your home study site also has knowledge organizers. So by clicking into the knowledge organizer tab and going into your year group, you will find knowledge organizers for each of your different subjects. Your knowledge organizers are key pieces of information about individual topics. So you can click into these topics and you can then start to find relevant information. So by looking in this topic here under design technology, I will find information about different forms of plastic, categories of plastic, and I can use that to help make maybe a mind map or a revision card, depending on what my strategy is. Remember, there's different approaches to using knowledge maps. Some of these will be taught to you by your teachers. However, think about what's best going to help you prepare for that exam and recall that information when it is needed. Different year groups have different revision strategies that we want you to try and use when preparing for progress tests. So by clicking into these different revision strategies, you will find lots of useful information to help you. Hints and tips for home study. There are different revision tips that are going to help you to think about how you spend your time throughout your preparation. Making sure you take regular breaks will be important as well as maybe looking at different ways of creating a plan. Equally so, you can then find a specific revision strategy relevant to your year group. So for year eight, our revision strategy is focused around making revision cards. Revision cards where you can write a question that can be then answered with some information on the reverse of the card. And that will also support you with your self-testing. Remember, there are different strategies in different year groups. So make sure you click into your year group and find out the strategy that we think is most appropriate for you at that point. For students in year 10 and 11, the revision strategy site includes also further information about some of our online platforms. So here in year 10, you'll see a video clip linked to GCC Pod, what GCC Pod is about and how to use it as well as GCC Pod's assessment strategy, which is check and challenge quizzes. You'll also find your hints and tips and your progress test strategy, but you'll also see in here now that there are practice papers that you can use for self-assessment to give you an understanding of what assessment papers look like, to look at some sample questions. You can click into some of these subjects and you will find an exam paper so here, for example, with business in paper one, when I click into this, I will find a paper and I can look at some practice questions or I could practice answering some of these questions as part of my revision and preparation. Remember, we're trying to be as supportive as possible in the preparation for your progress tests. So we're giving you information in advance. We're giving you study planners to help you map out your revision strategies. You've also got opportunities to look at different pieces of your knowledge toolkit. So using things like revision cards, mind maps, self-testing, using your knowledge organizers and using your exercise books to help you really focus on 
different revision strategies that are going to help you best be successful. Remember, break the information down. There's no point trying to look at everything all at once. Use an interleaving strategy where you choose a topic that you think is most challenging for you and then go and find the relevant information in either your exercise book or through a knowledge organizer to then recap and make notes, a mind map or a revision card that can help you chunk that information down into something more manageable. It could very well be that some of the topics on your lists you're fairly confident with, in which case focus on the ones that you think you need to develop your knowledge of further. As a final recap, remember, your home study site can be found in your year team and by clicking into the home study tab at the top of the page. From there, you should be able to find all of the information that you need. Alongside of this, you will still have your subjects teams pages. So you can click into your subject team pages to find information that is suitable for that 